Hi, hello, how's it going? This is Ronaldo Hernandez, and uh, I want to talk to you today about uh, the rehab for snapping tricep syndrome and neuropathy. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to decrease stress levels. I'm trying to be more in a, in a relaxed state. Supposedly, when your um, when your autonomic nervous system is um. You can see it's in more in a parasympathetic, parasympathetic uh, mode. Uh, that's that's like the kind of mode you will, you will want to be in for your body to recover. And so, I you know, throughout the day, I try not to put too much stresses on my body, even though I'm like working out and um working like a high stressful job could um, affect that but that's why uh, you gotta well I won't say you gotta but what I've been doing more is um kind of practicing on my breathing try to um, slow it down more and focus on breathing out instead of breathing in because when you breathe in it's, it's a sympathetic um, response when you do that uh, you you kind of raise like cortisol levels, which is like the stress hormone. So you would like to be, or well, I would like to be more in a, a parasympathetic uh, state. So you know, I try to breathe out more, you know, exhale longer when I uh, you know live life. Uh, another thing with that I'm doing is um. Is um, I'm getting um, stronger overall in my body, uh, more specifically in my calves, hamstrings, glutes, uh, my back, mid back, and you know my arms, like a triceps, my biceps. Um, I also uh, counted those other muscles because those are like the um, you could say like. Uh, the most uh, important muscles that um, your body kind of relies on for when you're standing, uh, running, walking, you know, doing mostly anything in life, you know, those should be like the strongest uh, in your whole body. M more specifically, in your glutes, your hamstrings, and your back. Uh, because, you know, for your glutes, that's like your main driver and like. You can say like most leg lifts and you know sprinting and running. It's all like hip extension, hip extension, and hip flexion. And uh, for your back, well, man, that's just um important for uh, keeping your push posture upright. You know, a lot of people like to work out the chest, and they tend to kind of hunch hunch more, have more forward shoulders, and uh, that's not really optimal. You know, for um, for your posture, so strengthening that back the mid back and also having like some uh, flexibility and um, you can say in thoracic extension is uh, very optimal for your body to kind of be aligned so that's that's what I've been uh, working on to fix this uh, condition uh, reason why I'm very uh, focused on fixing on my posture is because um, I feel like that's uh, one of the main reasons why uh, I even have the condition. Uh, I've noticed that when I work out and I really uh, become really focused, you know, I'm very in tune, like uh, doing everything with good form. Um, there's like less less pain overall, but less of the snapping sensation. You know, it's like it doesn't really happen. And I, I, I get close to it for it to snap, but I also notice that the degree of um, a flexion that I'm going for it's like more now it's like I could flex it more and more and more without it snapping and that's mostly because like um, you know at the same time I'm like keeping my back upright um, I'm kind of like having a posterior pelvic tip tilt in my hips so I kind of like slightly tuck in the tailbone to lengthen the spine and try to keep my, my chest up my shoulders are backing down, and the crown of the head uh, is being lifted up as well. 
you know, those are like the main cues that you should have for, you know, if you want to have a strong posture. Um, but at the same time, you gotta uh, focus on your feet too. You know, I have flat feet, and when you have flat feet, uh, your posture could go to hell. You know, uh, one could develop like knock knees and anterior pelvic tilt, and um, like a hunchback. Uh, um, and that's what I, you know, that's something I, I'm still dealing with. You know, I have all those um, symptoms from, you know, being flat-footed. So right now, I'm just reversing that and uh, getting stronger every day. You know, um, that's, that's all I want to talk about today. Uh, I thank you for tuning in. And this is a fast life.